they're telling you you can go deeper. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I just haven't even started. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you can go deeper. I don't mind that. I mean, that when people say, like, I can take a lot of pain. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like saying, well, the dentist is. A yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, what, what I tell people in the interview is you will experience my work as deeply as you breathe. <laughs> you want me to work deeply in your tissues. When I'm there, you send your breath to that spot, to your rhomboid or your trapezius or your wherever. And you visualize that tissue softening as you exhale. And I will guide you if you forget. Because no amount of depth that I can give you will get what done, what you want to do, want done, without your breathing and using the power of your mind. If you're lying there not breathing and being tight, me fighting with you will result in you not being happy and me getting hurt. And I, that won't, I won't do that. So if you'd rather sign up with somebody else, please do so. <laughs> So, and that's after years of experience, and you know, the moves of deep tissue, slow, focused work in certain muscle groups, usually are enough to satisfy most anybody in that. People have to breathe to truly receive deep tissue. You can't lie to me or else it's not effective. So, Part of our job is educating a client about the breath, about what deep body work is. <coughs> so, assisted joint articulation, this moving, is one of the seven important factors of an excellent massage. I don't do as much movement lying prone as I do. I honestly think the most effective body work is supine. I, I think the reason we teach so much lying prone and face down is that we're less vulnerable in that position. And that's how most schools start, and that's how most people expect us to. It's interesting. But again, this is not so much about technique today. This is about flow. That you let go of what you thought Esalen Massage is, which is just fluff and buff, relaxing, soft, sweet, nurturing. That it includes deep body work but without these strokes that begin and end consciously connecting all parts, it's not, that's not, then it wouldn't be an Esalen massage. You have to use good body mechanics. You can't be hunched over like this. You need to use G. You need to put one foot behind the other and really be using something other than just your arms. I'm using my hips right now. Do low back mm -hmm. And she's supporting her torso with her arms. Yeah, my forearms are on the table. Right. That's all oh, hi. We just had a really <laughs> terrific day together. No, seriously, it's been really good. It's been really good to connect with our oh, yeah. with my fellow yeah. massage yeah. practitioners. Yeah. Yeah. Rarely get to do that, and I hope we get to do it more and more. What stands out to me right now is the flow, just the sense of continuity that Esalen, um, the essence of Esalen work seems to have, and I think all of us can improve on that, and just having more flow, connecting to ourselves more fully, and connecting to um, the people we're working with.